If the Palestinian Authority arrests Palestinian activists, tortures, kills on behalf of Israel, while protecting Israeli illegal Jewish settlers in Palestine and facilitates the Israeli occupation of Palestinians, therefore facilitates Israeli apartheid in Palestine, then why do we, within the Palestine Solidarity Movement, continue to engage with Palestinian Authority officials? There is a good reason of why this happens. On one hand, the Palestinian Authority itself is quite good at appearing to be different things for different people. With Israel, is the iron fist of the Israeli occupation used against their own people. For the United States, they are always willing to make painful compromises and stop incitements against Israel and are ready for any sorts of peace negotiations unconditionally. In fact, for the international community, including the ICC, the International Criminal Court, the Palestinian Authority also pretends to be ready to hold Israeli war criminals or alleged war criminals accountable for their war crimes and so on. In fact, even for the Palestinian Solidarity Movement, the Palestinian Authority attempts to act at, as if it's a promoter of Palestinian rights. Palestinian Authority officials and ambassadors around the, the world sometimes speak the kind of the language of, of liberators, you know, the radical left as if they are Che Guevara's and Fidel Castro. While in actuality, the Palestinian Authority does the opposite of all of these things and it is just committed to its role as a protector of Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu said it himself only recently when he said the Palestinian Authority works for us. These are not my words, it's his. Therefore, we in Israel must do everything in our power to make it survive. And they agreed to a plan to actually save the Palestinian Authority from those resistance terrorists or whatever the Israelis would like to call them. But we still, within the Palestine Solidarity Movement, pretend that none of this is actually happening. We invite them to our conferences. We are greatly honored when they accept to participate and to speak about unity and ending the factional division and all the good stuff. But maybe we need to wake up and start realizing that the Palestinian Authority is not a part of the solution. In fact, it has never been a part of the solution. It is the problem. Along with Israel, they both ensure that Palestinian resistance and Palestinian political dissent is suppressed. That needs to stop. Now, it's not up to us to overthrow the Palestinian Authority and these other lofty goals. It's the Palestinians themselves who are going to make that decision. But the least we can do is to boycott these guys. Stop engaging with anyone who is suppressing the Palestinian people, anyone who is arresting and torturing and killing Palestinians, as was the case with Nizar Banat. It's just something to think about. Thank you for tuning in. This was Ramzi Baroud with One Take. Bye-bye.